Do 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 do. Tech by Tips. Welcome to another Tech by Tips video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about setting up Jenkins in our Raspberry Pi Kubernetes cluster, but we're going to be using Jenkins agents that are pods that are spinned inside our Kubernetes cluster. So we're going to allow Jenkins to manage our Kubernetes cluster to spin up pods that it needs to execute its jobs. I really hope you like this video. If you're into DevOps, you're going to find it very useful. And uh, remember, if you like the content, like and subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comments below anything that you would like to see covered in this channel. And uh, also remember, there's uh, links in the description below so you can donate if you want to support me. This channel is not monetized. You should not see any YouTube ads in my videos. So let's get to that. We are going to be deploying Jenkins in a Kubernetes cluster and we're also going to manage that Kubernetes cluster with Jenkins. So we have a file here in this URL. It's a, the Tech by Tips repository, specifically for the repository Kubernetes deployments. So you can find this in github.com slash tech dash byte dash tips slash k3s dash deployments and it'll give you this option you can go into here we're going to be using the jenkins devops with kubernetes agents to to test that uh, i already have it in my uh, raspberry pi downloaded so if we look at it give me one second this is just too big let's make it fit here all right we have it named jenkins deployment and we have another one that says uh, dashboard. So that's what we are going to be using. If you followed the previous video, you should have a Kubernetes cluster in Raspberry Pis already working. That was in the setting up a Kubernetes cluster in Raspberry Pi video. And here's also the reference guide with all the instructions. So if you followed this, you should have the Kubernetes dashboard already set up and everything ready for you to start deploying things into Kubernetes. So let's look at that deployment for a second. So let's uh, do, let's do nano. And here we have the details of this deployment. In this deployment, we're gonna create a, a namespace named DevOps tools, where we're gonna ho uh, hold all the applications related to DevOps. And we're gonna create a service account for Jenkins. Additionally, after that, we're going to create the Jenkins role in Kubernetes. So uh, this allows uh, Jenkins access to the Kubernetes cluster to manage the Kubernetes cluster, etc. So we have for pods, we allow it to create, delete, get, list, patch, update, and watch. For uh, execution of pods, the same. For the logs of the pods, we can get, list, and watch. And for the secret uh, secrets, we can get those secrets. And uh, here we create a role binding. So we are binding that role to the service account that we created before, which is the uh, Jenkins service account. So that is great here. And then additionally, we create a persistent volume claim. That is so that if our pod gets deleted, when, when it gets recreated again, it still has a configuration from our previous run, right? So we don't have to restart Jenkins all over again and, and reconfigure everything. So this is how we do that. We're going to give it five gigabytes of space. And here comes the actual deployment of Jenkins. In this case, uh, the deployment is going to be named Jenkins deployment. It's going to be in the DevOps tools namespace. We're going to ask for one instance of Jenkins. We don't really need more than that. And we're going to be using the uh, Jenkins uh, JDK 11 version with LTS support and we're going to be assigning the Jenkins admin account to the pod. We're going to resource, uh, resource limit it to 2 gigabytes of memory and a thousand for CPU but we're going to re start requesting only 500 and 500 and uh, we're going to open the ports 8080, which is our user interface port, and the 50,000, which is the port used for JNLP connections to the agents. 
additionally we're gonna have a liveness probe so this is just gonna check that our pod is uh, available and it's gonna check for the login URL on port 8080 initially it's gonna wait for uh, 300 seconds for that and then it's you know more settings to, to check that it is ready etc and we're just here mounting the the volume to the var jenkins home inside the container and yeah that's basically it for the deployment part and here we create the jenkins uh, service basically so we can access it easily from our master node by just putting the master node ip and the port that we assign to jenkins so we're matching uh, port 8080 uh, to port 8080 using TCP and 50,000 to 50,000 to uh, the IP of our master node. So that's basically what's going to happen. To run this, you just uh, go cube ctl. If it's the first time, first time that you run it, you put create. If not, you put apply. F for file, and then you specify the Jenkins file. In this case, I've already run this, so it shouldn't change anything. Everything should be good. And when we're doing this, we can validate that everything was working properly by going to kubectl, get all, and then the namespace for DevOps tools. And that should tell us that we have everything that we need. We have our Jenkins pod. We have our uh, Jenkins server uh, service, sorry. We have our deployment, which is already ready and available. And we have our replica set, which is good. So we can um, validate that this was uh, created successfully and that it is working several ways. We could, for example, um, use the Kubernetes dashboard that we mentioned before. So let's do that. I already have a script here that runs that command and gives me that. So let's just copy this and go into the uh, website for the Kubernetes cluster. And here we are. We can just put our token, sign in. And when we sign in, we look for the DevOps tools uh, works, uh, namespace and we see that everything is looking good. We have one pod, we have one deployment, we have one replica set and everything is looking fine. Everything's working, running in our uh, Kubernetes cluster node 9. So that is really good. Everything's looking good here. And if we can go into the IP of our master node and then we specify the port of Jenkins, which is 8080, we get this. Um, it's prompting us for the secret to set up the instance so might as well as do that let's go in here and do uh, and do a log search in the Jenkins instance so we go kubectl logs and then we need the name of that Jenkins pod so let's just grab that real quick which is this one you copy that here we go Let's copy this and put it in here. Mm, oh, sorry, I, I haven't specified the namespace. Here we go. And it's going to give us the secret here that we need to set up Jenkins. So we copy that. We go into Jenkins. We put that in there. And then we're going to be able to configure Jenkins. The first thing we're going to do here is we are going to install the suggested plugins because honestly they're very useful and it can get you up and running really fast so let's just do that wait for it to do its thing it has a good amount of uh, plugins that are going to be very useful for example the folders folders one the pipeline one the git one the ssh bill agent one the stage view for the pipeline the github groovy libraries those are very good credentials binding all of that so we just wait for that to be installed and set up and it is done now we have to create our admin user 
So here we're gonna go and do the usual username, and password, confirm your password, and then the name for the user, I'm gonna put my name, and the address. Alright, now we're just gonna leave that URL as it is and save and finish and Jenkins is ready. So we can start using Jenkins. Alright, one of the fir first things that we need to do here is we have a warning that says the building on the uh, the built-in node can be a security issue so we can either dismiss this or set up an agent and a cloud and that's the first thing that we need to do we need to set up a cloud and this cloud is going to be pointing to our cluster so okay let's go into dashboards manage jenkins then we go into nodes and clouds then we go into clouds and then we there are no cloud implementations for dynamic level oh yep we need to install a plugin i forgot about that so let's go into available plugins and let's look for kubernetes uh, one that says kubernetes this plugin integrates jenkins with kubernetes and that's the one that we're gonna pick so once we have that we are gonna click on download and install after a restart it's going to bring us to this uh, window here we check this box so that it restarts when it's done so let's just give it a little bit of time to do its thing and then it should uh, restart automatically or you might get a blank page while the pod is restarting so just be patient let it do it let it do its thing and keep refreshing until you get the interface back once the pod is ready Okay, Jenkins is back up again. We need to log in, so let's log in. Now we should have the plugin, so we should be able to go into Manage Jenkins. We should be able to go into the Clouds and Nodes option. And here we go into the Clouds, and now we should be able to add our Cloud. All right, we click Kubernetes because we want to use our Kubernetes cloud and we're going to name it Kubernetes. And for the details, the only thing that we need to do here actually is put the namespace where our Jenkins is and the, the, the namespace that we wanted to manage. So we specify that and then we test the connection and it should tell us that it is able to connect to the Kubernetes cluster in a bit. There we go, connected to the Kubernetes cluster. So that's looking good. Here for the Jenkins URL, we're just gonna specify HTTP, the IP of our master node, and port 8080. And for the tunnel, we leave that part blank. So now here we go down to where it says pod labels, and we need to create a pod label. So we select that and the values that we're gonna give it are gonna be Jenkins and the value is agent. Then under this, we're gonna click on where it says pod templates and we're going to add a pod template and we're going to name it cube agent because it's Kubernetes agent. And then we go into the details here and then we're going to specify things like the DevOps tools namespace from before. And let's say this is the cube agent. What else here under the containers, we can create a container template and we name it JNLP because that's how it connects to an agent. And we're going to use the Jenkins inbound agent, the latest version for that to be used as the docker image um working directory we can leave it like it is um sleep command uh well, we're gonna leave it like it is and we're good we should be able to just save this and now we have configured a cloud in here uh the warning that we got here says that it 
you should set the number of executors on the build node to zero. So let's do that and see what happens, right? We go here, back into the manage Jenkins nodes, and this is our built-in node. That's the master Jenkins node that we're actually in. We click the gears here, and we bring the number of executors down to zero. So then uh, we don't have that configuration problem that they say, right? Now we have uh, Jenkins. We have it configured to access our Kubernetes cluster and we saw that it was able to connect to the cluster. So now we can just test that it can trigger a build and actually use a agent to run things. So let's go in here, let's create a new item and in this item let's name it agent test my god if i spell it correctly there we go agent test and let's say it's a freestyle project and let's click ok and then in here we're gonna say that this is um just testing that jenkins is able to launch agents agent pods yeah that sounds correct launch and then we are going to say that the label expression for this is going to be cube agent because that's what we specified before so this is telling us that this matches one cloud which is our kubernetes cloud not a node so that is actually good then we go here uh, into build steps let's create a build step that is just an execution of a shell and let's make it uh, just output some text testing the Jenkins agent all right so if it works our agent should just print out testing the Jenkins agent and from here we can just save this and if we build it we should see it is actually working it's creating the cube agent so we should see progress here soon let's uh, try to follow this whenever it decides oh, i looked away and i didn't realize that it was fast so let's go and look what happened here we go uh, the execution happened on our pod and as we expected we see the message that says testing the jenkins agent so it was able to create the agent and here it is and everything is looking good as you can see once jenkins ran and it didn't have anything else to do it got rid of that additional pod and we're just back to our master pod which is the the ones we were looking at